So. So everyone, she's back. She's, she's back, back from the communist China. Two double o eight. China is back. She's back from Shanghai. China is back. She's and, back from Shanghai, um, and she's a. Uh, I was I, I was about to say a renewed woman, but I don't think there's anything renewed. There's nothing new. She has not any, grown. If anything, rotted. <laughs> even more yeah oh. she um just maybe one more wrinkle because i forgot to get my botox done oh, before i left oh also i was telling you about how i have a liver problems now apparently mm -hmm. botox can affect that because she's like really? did you get anything done to your face i was like i got botox and fillers recently but to cause a spike in my liver or whatever you you, you get botox on your face and it affects I get your liver? really yeah so to get a you know to get a, a better and a healthier like health condition, you need to start get, getting Botox. I guess so. I don't know. So There's people who look amazing on the outside, they might be rotten on the inside. Us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so oh, wait, are you um, leaving this on? Oh, uh, shall we turn? Um, Cause it makes it makes the lighting kind of yellow. Cause it's fine if this is just it, but this one is white. Like oh, so, so it kind of contradicts with yeah. the yellow and white. Give me a second. And you act like we can't edit this. Acting like this is a live show. <gasps> me, whenever I uh, film with idols and um, you know me, I'm like, I don't like to do intros all that. Mm -hmm. They're always like, is this a live stream? I'm like, what? <laughs> anyway, well, uh, I will, okay. I was trying to explain this to Eddie off camera, but if you watch Double D Volume 8, Episode 8, if you, because the, the thing is, we only have one camera. We're in it. Originally, podcasts are supposed to have like the main camera and then one camera for each person, but obviously, we only have one camera. So, in editing, I zoom into the footage of you and me separately, mm -hmm, right? Because mm -hmm. you can see there's cuts. Yes. In Episode 8, though, because when we're filming, I have to film pretty wide. So that when I we zoom into your face or my face, there's enough space around here. You know what I mean? That's why I say we should never be too close to each other. Yes. Because if we're close, then you'll be mm -hmm. in the zoom in shot as well. So I was telling him in episode eight, I didn't film wide enough. So when I go into zoom in to you or me, the kakao to the edge of the, the frame. You're too close. Yeah. But if you notice in episode eight, there, <laughs> I ended up after having to use an AI uh, Photoshop. They have an AI option now to generate a longer background. So if you notice in episode eight, there's a weird green plant over there next to me. On your side, the, there's like this weird mug mm -hmm. that's like it's like two mugs stuck together. Anyway, I was trying to explain that to Eddie, and he did, he just didn't get I it. I zoomed out because I um he didn't care. I, it's not I didn't care and as it's I explained this to you I knew it's it's because okay I recently bought a camera mm. it's called Rico R-I-C-O-H not only am I wearing the same exact sweater as the last episode but now we're repeating stories dementia the Rico camera is really famous for um, taking a uh, really good nostalgic style like Japanese kind of um, mm -hmm. style uh, photos uh -huh. so I bought it and then I didn't know how to use it <laughs> So I asked my little brother because my little brother is a Gen Z and mm -hmm. then he's really good with cameras mm -hmm. and he's explaining to me how to use it. He's like, oh, you have to press this and that. Mm -hmm. And he, he's, he's just doing it so well. Mm -hmm. And then I, I, I immediately I zoomed out. I felt like this is like me teaching my mom how to use iPhone. That was me. Yeah, my mom zoomed you. out. Yes. Ah. I'm like, oh my God, I'm really old now. I really felt this generation gap. I'm like, ah. What's, what was happening to me? I am, I, I graduated from college, but look at me me now like what happened well for me the, the point wasn't so much about like the technology it was literally just about like it's funny because the background i, I had to it's ai generated uh -huh. in that video you probably won't notice unless you look for it now but i didn't notice that, that's good that's mm -hmm. the point mm -hmm. right but it's just funny because you have a random plant there your kitchen looks all fucked up in the background of that one because i had but to, who noticed nobody now you did now really, that i mentioned it yeah, thanks, I, thanks amazing work thanks adobe <laughs> uh but oh my God, what, what, you said you want to talk about fucking. Uh, oh, before this, uh, there's another. There's another one. <laughs> okay, because okay, I was in Shanghai and I was, I was doing this uh, fashion uh, sort of exhibition. If you didn't know, mm -hmm. if you notice the sudden change of like our hair mm -hmm. from the last episode to now, because up to episode ten was all pre-filmed. Yes, oh, pre-filmed. We met every other day, but now it's been a month and a half mm -hmm. since we last filmed that one. 
I'm, so people just, people in the comment section saying that our chemistry is off is not it's like we're just very exhausted because we filmed <laughs> 10, 10 episodes within 22 days Girl, if you notice in volume 9 I went off in it I was just like shit you fucking dumb yeah we we're, we're just really exhausted and we literally we, sucked all yeah, yeah all, you were, all the energy we were doing budding cherry stuff yes the podcast yes you have your own stuff yes me and you know I was you know he has to upload on his own channel too yeah. but we have we are we are working on a very tight schedule mm-hmm. and I really appreciate that he has all like he like took all 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 his energy and time to actually make this schedule work because we really want to launch this channel but yeah, I still find the episode entertaining yeah I, I really like yeah yeah but I you really can like definitely tell that we're both like yeah yeah it's just uh, we we're really working on a really tight yeah. schedule you know it's got bad because usually that kind of energy will have in the second episode of the day mm-hmm. but it was episode one of the day so we're yeah. like <laughs> we're already dying so I'm, I haven't uploaded I haven't edited the last ep- episode 10 yet mm-hmm. so I'm curious as to how well, that's gonna, gonna maybe it's gonna be the <laughs> it's just gonna be us I already forgot what other. we talked about. Yeah. I don't, even, girl. Do you ever, do we ever remember what we? Yeah, we we <laughs> just like Bonnie and Cherry. You know when the oh! fresh new episode came out, I already forgot what we had talked girl, about. It's it. But when because you know they upload the shorts first, yes. the reels. I'm just like, when did we when, do that? Yeah, it's, it's like looking at a, a fresh new person yeah, as a third but person point of view. We're not gonna have that issue anymore. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Anyway, um, okay. Basically, we are, I'm doing uh, this fashion exhibition and we're displaying uh, like a, a bag brand. Mm-hmm. So we are hanging the bag on the wall. So we have to actually uh, stick a hanger on the wall first. Yep. But uh, <laughs> you just take like, a hanger and just <laughs> you have to yeah we have to like imagine this is the wall and we have to we um, bought this sort of uh, marble marble stone looking uh, really fancy looking hangers oh, wow. and just stick it on the wall but to the, make the it hair, look, but, yeah, hook on, yeah? like a hook yeah uh, sorry uh, hooks so but to make it look legit and professional we have to actually make sure the hooks they're aligned mm-hmm. very um just like evenly yeah evenly so we uh borrowed uh, those laser thing you know you, oh, you to measure the to measure the it on the leveler yeah uh, to leveler and then i brought it uh, from uh, so like uh, those construction workers ooh. and then but because he was too busy so we have to do it ourselves oh, and shit. we literally have no time because you have to to uh stick the hookers on the wall for two days to make sure to it, it actually mm-hmm. stuck on the walls yeah, 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 and our exhibition is two days later so we actually have no time to hire someone mm-hmm. so i had to do it on the night off mm-hmm. and then i was like watching the tutorial on youtube and i still didn't know how to do it and then um, you, you get access to youtube in Shanghai? yeah well, i use vpn ah! and, uh, we have like four girls <laughs> at, the, the, at the night off and um this, i'm not mis- uh, misogynistic or anything but we have four girls and now every single of one of us we're, we're watching like, the videos yeah. I was like oh my god we cannot but it's a it's a laser level like I wouldn't know yeah. how to even and then I, but I'm the the one who figured out the most I figured like 80% of it I still don't know how to do it and then I was like what, what was the thing that you couldn't figure out uh like we, to... we, I turned it on and then the laser <laughs> no, I figured out how to turn it on yeah then the laser thing did stick on the wall but uh, we had to move the laser thing like to the right side mm-hmm. and then we had to like move it up and move uh, it down because we have like 12 bags mm-hmm. we have to display so we have to make sure it, uh, the the distance has to be even and uh, then everything so and then we decided to, to call our bush lesbian friend hey. yeah and our bush lesbian friend arrived within 20 minutes hey. She looked at the tutorial. She's like, oh, that. Yeah, so, <laughs> yes. She figured out within five minutes. I'm dead. She figured out in five minutes. I- and she, Dude, she, shout outs to her. To she her. saved the fucking day. Uh, the real man the in the real room. Man. The real man. Yes. In the room. She figured out in five minutes. She she t- pointed out like the exact uh, the place that we have to stick um, mm-hmm. the hook uh, mm-hmm. the hooks on, and then we get it done within ten minutes. I love that. I love that. And you I should have had her just do the whole. Yes. Because you made it sound because the whole making of the showroom seemed really stressful. Yes. Yeah, she she made the the, the works so much easier mm. and then, Great. Yeah, you should have told from the beginning. Yes. Oh my god. I'm like so, hmm? Did you buy of her food? Of course, of Good. course. So the things like AI and um, the laser lever things like it's just not mm. as I said, it's you know. Like, yeah. There are yeah. many more things I can do in my life, but mm. just not No, yakan. I think all of your brain power went to other things other than things like, you know, building a fucking like hanger display and like you know yeah. AI generated backgrounds and shit so yeah just not not in for me it's more like it's spread out a bunch of amongst a bunch of things and you know that phrase the uh jack of all tra- something about like being good at many things but being master of none that's me I think you're really good with with, with a lot good, of things good but not a master 
That's why with my makeup, if you look at my makeup, it's always that chung hair. No, I think you're a good, really good at makeup, mm. actually. I am pretty much you're, yeah, you're just being very modest. Because, uh, you know, Cheo Holloway, mm-hmm. he is dropping his album soon. And um, he filmed a music video. But before the day of the music video, we got it. That day, we are the last day of filming that um, I was like, oh, I'm supposed to go meet Cheo later. Because then that day, we had a big fight. We had yeah. a big fucking fight. Because he thought that um because we were filming all day right for bunny for, for a double d this one and i replied late so he thought i was ignoring him mm-hmm. so after our film i was like oh, so man, 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 like where should i go he didn't reply for like two hours and then he was like so, yeah. we were fighting but um so i d- ended up because i was supposed to do his makeup for his music video so on the day of he ended up going to the shop instead like his sister goes to some shop in chongdam uh-huh. sis Sis. The, the makeup was not good? It was not giving. It was really did, not did giving. Did he go to... I'm just kidding. Ah! Yeah, we have to, to believe that. No, we're keeping that yeah, in. Uh, really? No. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I, I have something to tell you after that. No. <laughs> no, but... um, So, it wasn't a famous famous shop. Mm. Um, But... I really forget the feeling that... Maybe if it's like a Yoja a Peu, like a female actress or like female idol. Chaejo. They do really well, but whenever it's guys, they always detching, detching here. They always half ass it. Cause that day we were filming. What we did was we filmed a music video reaction to his music video, and I did his makeup before he started filming. Girl, I killed it. But then I watched the music video. He was like, "Are you gonna judge the makeup?" I'm like, "Yeah, I am." And on camera, I didn't say anything crazy, but off camera, I was like, "What the fuck did they do to your face?" I really want to look at the. It, I want to see. <sighs> I'll, I'll, show I'll show you later. I'll show you later. But yeah, show just, me later. It's not bad. It's just nothing special. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like the play is safe because yeah. Because uh, I think for you, because you um you have, you've done a lot of work with idols and mm-hmm. you really went into K-pop from a l- very long time ago. Yeah. So you're really experienced with um like music and K-pop idol and makeup. Mm-hmm. So you you know the concept and you do a more bold and the co- makeup then stick to the concept of his music. Mm-hmm. But if you go to a shop, um. I think they would just do a more safe and um again yeah yeah and also i think because we're in and when they film music videos or any movies or dramas mm-hmm. there's always a true jung on set mm-hmm. that keeps checking the makeup but mm-hmm. i guess they didn't really do that mm-hmm. there's there was a friend of theirs this, this sujong hejong in there but like checking the makeup they didn't they probably didn't do anything but mm-hmm. were you talking about shanghai because of the laser thing mm-hmm. okay but then we were gonna go you were gonna talk about uh fucking the whole Lisa thing and yeah, was, I'm just gonna because you're off camera. You're all of a sudden you're just like, like well, la, Lisa, la. I was like, what? The, today's topic. No, no, no. I want you to do your little money thing. What was it? Oh yeah, but in that I'm gonna talk later. Dollar bills. Dollar bills. Because dollar bills. Today's topic I just really want to talk about is because um, you know the way that China went crazy because she was on Wild Horse. Yes. Um, Girl. Okay. We, we, okay. We're going to talk about the demand, demanding of um, Blackpink and dis- Lisa's okay. performance on Crazy Horse. But did they Horse. say they disbanded on the channel? Um, okay, so let's talk about them. <laughs> but they actually, yeah, I mean... I mean it's very obvious. It's no probably, difference. Yeah. There's no big difference on... You said there's no difference because they don't make music anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Oh, well, let's face it. Oh, okay. They, 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 they're not, maybe they're just, just like the Spice Girls, maybe 20 years or 10 years later, they're going to get it together the and have a world tour. tour. Girl, but the let's just face tour it. Like, Blackpink. The, the, the facts, the cold facts. Will they be together very soon? They're already producing music like one or two years in once and then mm-hmm. an album. When they're in contract together, will they like in maybe in one or two years and get together with Again, within to different make, companies and make another album? I don't think not. so. Yeah. They're super talented by themselves, and yeah. they will just make a solo album by themselves. I think they're all amazing in different ways. In terms of talent, though, honey, Miss Lisa brings it. She I, brings the pain, like. <laughs> Lisa Miss Lisa I, The one and only Maybe this is kind of off the topic I saw Lisa's boyfriend In Shanghai I, Mr. Uh, what's his name? Uh, I saw him In um, Hong Long Hong Long is this um, Very Upscale the, One of the most upscale Shopping mall In uh-huh. Shanghai uh-huh. And then I saw him Coming out from Tiffany Ooh. Because um, That day Specific day it, it, it was the very big event in Dior in mm-hmm. Shanghai. Mm-hmm. I think he came to um, participate in that uh, event in yeah, Dior yeah. and then invited, um, 
I think two or three really famous Chinese um, um, superstars oh, yeah, who yeah. are Dior's ambassadors, mm. and then that's why he was there um, participating in the event as well mm -hmm. while sort of uh, touring all the um, uh, LVMH brands stores yep. in in Honglong shopping mall Hello. at the same time. Yes, so I I saw him, but I'm I'm, I'm just surprised he was not with a lot of bodyguards because him he was with like one bodyguard with him. Is he famous for like being just like the son of like? But he was the richest man's like son. Yeah, but you're not gonna have people are gonna be clamoring for him like idols. You but know? still, like, what if, what if he got assassinated? Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, after all, his his father is the richest richest literally the richest man in the world. Is he? Yeah. Um, not anymore. Maybe the third. Mm, but, but like few years ago, yeah. Mm. So I was surprised. Like I mean, the the president of Korea has like so many bodyguards with Could him. You? Yeah. Um, mm. Maybe he was so so much more hated, but still, that's what that was more guarded. I think that's the difference, maybe. Yeah, but he was he was he was much better looking than the picture Ooh. he was taken. Yeah. yeah, he got a haircut. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he was very tall. Really? Yeah, Ooh. he looks the same, but he he got it because I think maybe the haircut mm. it covers his um, hairline and everything. <laughs> no tea, no shade. Yeah, he looks. He, <laughs> he was very After decent. the fact. Yeah, he's very decent looking. Mm. Yeah, so he can. Was tell. he giving daddy? Him and Lisa, they they make a really cute couple. I can tell. Really? Yes. Mm. Yeah, he's he's decent looking. I can't I lie. Can tell I don't remember what his face looks like. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing the one picture, and I was just like, okay. I mean, that's what you're getting if you want to date the richest man's son. So, well, for for the the most rich man, I mean, the the son, he he does not look bad at all. He's Honestly, pretty though, young, he's actually. killing it. And here mm -hmm. we are. What are we doing? Yeah, what are we here, doing? You can't figure out a laser leveler. <laughs> I'm fucking girl. I got diarrhea every day. <laughs> and yeah, and high index uh, level of your liver. Yeah, um, enzymes. Yeah. Yes. Well. Looks who the who is a winner, who is a loser now. I know, right? And dollar bills. <laughs> who's, who's walking out of Dior in one of the big, most expensive malls in Shanghai? You look at us and getting uh, nothing from Dior. I haven't Dior. shopped once. Dior. Have you tried uh, Gucci's makeup? I haven't. You haven't. Um, the multi bomb in in Gucci uh, actually uh, went viral in China, right? Yes, I heard um, about that. Yeah. Because it's a it's um, um relatively affordable. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This tearing me, the tearing me up because why? the reason why um this one wire is because it's relative relatively affordable. That's <laughs> compared to Gucci, what Gucci in the in their uh, shopping. I mean and Gucci's um whole product. Oh the, yeah. uh, the cal from amongst the calico products. Yeah, because it's very versatile and it's relatively um affordable in the How product much is line. It? I think it's like uh, fifty bucks or something. Because it's fifty you, bucks in their product line. If you you get it and then for a gift. Right, because you can gift it for a man, a, 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 a male person, a mm. female person, because it does not have any tint. It's not tinted, so you can use it as a lip balm, mm. and you can use it as a, a non-tinted highlight. So it's very versatile, and then it has a as it has a Gucci, um, you know, outlook on it. So people, oh, it's Gucci. There's a dupe for that. You know what it's called? What? It's called Vaseline. I know it's <laughs> it, it's just glorified Vaseline, but is people it, like it. Is it similar to the Chanel one? The Chanel one was also viral. Oh, but the Chanel one is tinted. There's a clear one. Oh, there's a clear one. Mm, the uh, the stick bomb. But thing. Chanel one kind of give it's the Chanel one is kind of giving older lady wine. Think so? Oh, you don't think so? I don't find it. I feel like the younger generation would be using that product. Mm, but Gucci one is much more gender neutral. Mm. If uh, if you care about gender, mm. if gender is your wife, mm. I think. Because I just feel like Gucci's not that known for their makeup in general. I see. Yeah, because it's a, a relatively young. Yeah. Their makeup line. I think I'm, I've seen it more so being promoted by influencers rather than mm -hmm. influencers just naturally talking about it. But, but because Chanel makeup line has a much longer history. Yeah. If not, I mean, Chanel's perfume has a very long history. Yeah. Almost as long as their, um, you know, Haute Couture and the Ready to Wear line. Yeah. Right. The number, number five perfume and along with their makeup line. I was watching a, uh, I came across this YouTube channel that talks about, it's kind of like Animal Planet. Mm -hmm. Talk about animal facts and shit, but like the guy has like, he's like funny, he's like Gen Z humor or whatever. Mm -hmm. But he was, apparently there's an ingredient in Chanel number five where it's the, it, Extract what is that? What they, they use they use snakes for sperm or something? Not not that, but it, I think it's like a a kind of monkey or something, a monkey or some kind of squirrel they, where they no scrape way. the thing from the thing's butt, and they get 
That's one of the ingredients in Chanel Number no. Five. French people, you guys are crazy. Like, who even had the idea to like put that shit in there? <laughs> Chanel Number no. Five does smell pretty strong, so I, I forgot what sm- it's. It's just like. very intense. Okay, but I, I prefer perfumes like that because they last longer. Yeah, I love. Well, it depends on the scent, but I love when I have a Tom Ford perfume because uh-huh. when you spray it and then you know you wear that clothing For again, whole you smell it again. Yes, and I'm just like, ooh, this is the last thing. I actually really like Tom Ford. Tom Ford is, is killing it with her perfumes. I love Tom. Tom Ford is actually my role model. Really? Because Tom Ford, um, this is so off the topic, but Tom Ford. You well, know, what have we ever been on topic? But, you know, Tom Ford. I I like to listen to his life story, and Tom mm. Ford actually, um, Tom Ford's husband is uh, so much older than him, mm-hmm. and him with uh, his boyfriend, they were together for a very long time until his husband or passed, um, and then he still, um. You know he's still single after his husband has passed, and he. I think um, they were they're so loved, and they have a son, and then I just no, Tom Ford is hot, though. so role model, really so hot. Yeah, he's hot too, and he mm. has such a good taste, and he's a true artist. Mm. Oh my God. I'm so, oh, so girl, I'm <laughs> such a fan girl. Have you ever tried any of their perfumes? Uh, to be honest, I love their perfumes. You wouldn't buy it. I um I like. I like the brand Creed more. It's Creed. Creed. It's uh, Aventus. It, yeah. yeah, Aventus is more of my wife. The Tom Ford. I smell all of their perfumes. I like it. But like eighty percent. I have to like the perfume hundred percent to be my perfume because yeah, yeah. I don't like to change my perfumes because mm. I feel like perfume is part of your identity. Could you? Could you? Yeah, because you have to spray every single day for a very long time to actually let people around you to know that this is you. Mm. If you change it every single day, then it is not your perfume because me smell i think a scent of the sense of smell is oh, what defines you not in concept mm-hmm. that uh Pakyo. oh yeah like the yeah. like the clothes and the vibe you want to give yeah but it's like for each concept i'll have fresh sexy and boyish but within those categories i only have one so what's your sexy perfume the sexy would be probably like the tom ford one tom ford one tom mm. ford what the uh, cherry one tobacco vanilla to- oh okay yeah the how cute how about cute? Cute. cute. It's like a <laughs> <laughs> It's a mix of uh Miss Dior. Ah, I'm just kidding. Imagine. Um Remember Troy Aroke? The shit I always that skincare uh-huh. brand I talk about all the time uh-huh. in my channel. They have a they have a uh, da- daughter brand. The CEO's daughter made a brand, a perfume brand, very similar to like uh Joe Malone or uh-huh. like, you know, all that. Um they have a sp- I forgot the name of it, but they have a s- they have a perfume that smells very orangey citrusy. I always mix that with Britney Spears' Dark Fantasy because very typical like high school girl, like, you know, but it smells like blueberries, like artificial blueberries. And I love blueberries. Mm-hmm. So I mix it too. And it's like, Cute, it's giving like you high school body girl. Words, yes, but a little bit more sophisticated. Oh, yeah. Is it? <laughs> To me, you mean you smell like blueberry bubble gum, and then you, uh, you're yeah, telling me you smell blueberries and oranges. Uh, you smell like blueberry and oranges, and telling me you sp- smell like sophisticated. And... Well, it's my cute concept. So. Okay, well that I don't blame you. Mm-hmm. And, and then for my boyish is uh, Abercrombie. Oh, yeah, Abercrombie is really. Mm-hmm. I think um, a, a little bit more um, affordable price range perfumes does give you um, younger and uh, active, because it smells sexy. cheaper. But I do call because I feel like those kind of perfumes, like CK1, mm. does give you that kind of fresh mm. and uh, less youthful. sophisticated. Yeah, the youthful. I really like do Carefree. I do also fucking love my Lalabo perfume. Oh, but Lalabo. That's one of my top. Yeah. Uh, like Santal? Santal? I don't even fucking. Noir, Noir. Noir? Okay. Uh. Like Lalabo. You know. I, I do f- I find it so funny when you go to a label store mm-hmm. and you, they make um a AC cover because all their store needs to be uh, look like uh, it's all vintage. Oh yeah, yeah. But, but the the AC the, because it's, it's white, it's white, right? Yeah. So how they they made um an AC cover that it it looks like a, a sort of a mudded, um, yeah. dirty yeah. looking cover. So they cover the AC so that the AC looks like it's covered Part in mud. Of, yeah. yeah. So it's part of the part of the yeah, aesthetic. Yeah, I so love that. Everything looks expensive in that store. Have you been I, to a Lalabo store outside of Korea? Uh, I think I have been, but I don't remember. Mm. Yes, why? I just remember I went to New York and I never knew about Lalabo. Mm-hmm. And my friend took me there and I was like, "What the fuck is this place?" Lalabo, it's like you know where the expensive like expensive perfumes where all the they cool make kids. It in all the stores. Yeah, where they make it there. Yes. Um, 
but I didn't know it was like a subsidiary of YSL. Oh, I think they 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 bought it. They bought it they out. Bought, oh. They bought it out later on. Mm-hmm. I do like the concept though of taking your empty bottle to the store and then you know. I think it's just an excuse to make it more expensive. To be honest, at, at, the, at this end of this day of age, if you think about you, it, you can make it in the in the factory. To be honest, because they they, they, they make it sound like they're literally there crushing the orange peels. It's they're just taking bottles of like pre-made mixed oils. But yeah, it's like the o- older days in department stores. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. how the cosmetics were made. Mm-hmm. They actually Maja. make it in the stores yeah. for you, and um, they would be like. Just wait two weeks for it to, like, I guess, marinate or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, right. There's a uh, the 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 perfumes are fresh and made for you, and then just wait wait for another yeah, the two freshly weeks. Freshly pre mixed. Uh, yeah, for for all the um scent to mellow, it, yeah. not mellow it out and ferment it. Yeah. I was curious, so I sprayed it while it was still not ready. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it smells better. It smells the same. Pretty much the same. There's only a slight because you know over time perfume changes. It gets warmer a little bit, mm-hmm. but at the time it's like it smells like it's supposed to smell like. What do you mean? Like? Me because I'm a cynical person and mm-hmm. uh, I, I have a really dark humor. For those kind of things, it does not feel any difference. I just feel like they're just they're just lying and just want to um, upcharge. To, yeah, to upcharge me and to appeal more expensive than what it is. So I don't. I, I refuse to. That's to buy why it. we go on AliExpress and Taobao. <laughs> but to be honest, AliExpress and Taobao does. N- if you buy a fake one, it really does not smell the same. Yeah. Yeah. I heard about um this place in Greece. I think where you know how there's a lot of those perfume stores run by Europeans where it's like all perfumes that are basically copies of a uh, f- other famous perfumes. Apparently, in Greece there's a store that like you just go in there with a the bottle and like. Each each case is labeled with what perfume it's kind of like copying, and you just oh. fill up your own bottle. And apparently, it smells even better than the original. Like it, the the scent lasts longer, apparently, or something like that. Then why is Greek's economy bad? Girl, it's, just, it's just the one store. Like you think oh. the one store is gonna help me? People are gonna travel and just to go to the perfume store. Okay. But apparently, apparently, that's like a, the hot spot for people. Oh, I need to. But to be honest, there there is stores like that in Korea too. Today. Yeah, I actually mm-hmm. bought one. Do you want to smell it? Sure. What does what's it smell like? Uh, I have one because uh, I was I bought one I like label um, dupes. Mm-hmm. And it's called Santol, mm-hmm. and I spray on me, and then I went to work. The Dream Nim, which is a merchandiser, then I was typing in the computer, and she smelled my perfume. She's like, Eddie. Are you spraying the Labo Chantal? It's my favorite perfume. I love it. You have good taste. And, and you're like, like thanks. And, and like, like, it's actually a dupe. And she's like, oh. no, you don't tell her that. You let her walk away and you'd be like, to the camera all the time. Because I don't like lying or something. And then I she guess. she's like, oh my God. Like, where do you get it? And then so I, I told her the link and everything. And our team leader, because we got a team leader a month later. And then she said the same thing to me. It's like, are you wearing like Labo Santol is my favorite. I was like, it's actually a dupe. And then she bought it as well. And then she actually had like all those two girls have the original. And they all tell me it lasts even longer really? than the original. Let me see. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. So she's back. 2008. Freshly made in Korea by Korean people. And um, I let it mellow out for two weeks more. So Girl, so you. It must smell like Santal. Do you know Do you know how it smells like? I don't. The original? It smells just like that. Because I smelled it in the store. If it smells different, I won't spray it. It literally says Santal on here. Yes. They're not, they're not, uh. Oh, Atelier Butte. I think I've heard of this. How much is this bottle? Because uh, the bottles in there are like what two hundred fifty dollars. Uh, it's a thirty dollars for two bottle. It's not bad at all. Yeah, it's not bad at all, girl. And get uh, that dupe. Because we're not. This is not like a makeup dupe where it's like it's similar in texture and color. This is pretty it's much pretty like much the same. Mm. So they they carry other brands dupe as well. But um, I actually bought others. But I think this one is the, the most. I think the similar one. Mm. So I only buy this one. Mm. I I because uh, I really like um the one from. Aesop, it mm. Aesop. Brand. yeah, Aesop. Um, they have a perfume called Huil. Huil. H W Y, I think. H W Y or uh, why is there let an L, see L um, pronunciation? Why is there an L in there? Um, let me let me let, can can I go and find? No, no. you can't. Just <laughs> go if you want. Why would you ask me for permission? Kunde. 
this conversation brought up some random memory I have in my head. When I was living, going to school in Germany, we uh, have to get on the bus. All the kids that live off base have to go on the bus and we go on base obviously to go to school. And each bus has like a bus, bus monitor. Uh-huh. And they're usually nationals from the country. So our bus, driver, our bus monitor lady was some German lady. Yes. I had a girl sitting next to me, mean girl. Regina George vibes, but she's love her. Up, she's already. Like, ah, you love her already. Honestly, though, at the time I was like scared of her, but thinking about her, like, iconic. Yeah, she's kind of iconic. It was she didn't she didn't bully me or anything. She just had she always had like an attitude for some reason. But anyway, she's putting on her like fucking I don't know Victoria's Secret per, uh, lotion, and the bus monitor just went up to her. And was just like, what is that? And she's like, Victoria's Secret. And she's like, oh, I use jerkins. <laughs> but the thing that killed me was just the way she was like, I use jerkins. <laughs> I, I told you I what love is this her. hand thing and the, girl, the girl sitting this there this hand thing's everything yeah, she's a jerkins <laughs> and I was like okay bitch and then the girl looked at the girl putting on her lotion looked at her and was just like okay <laughs> I was like what the fuck she's is happening she's everything jerkins jerkins she did use this accent I, that was me trying to pull off a German accent I'm uh, sorry I apologize to the German community you're you're not apologizing <laughs> I'm apologizing that I got caught <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, I was like, why would you flex the Jurgens? That's like two dollar bottles of like 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 mineral oil. <laughs> like what? She's she's a high schooler. That's all. Um, no, the the bus monitor lady said she uses Jurgens. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, the 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 student she used uh, Miss Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret is not not that expensive. Yeah, it's really not. Yes. <laughs> so mm. I don't know why, for, but for her, she was literally just doing whatever. Mm-hmm. But the bus monitor was just like, oh, oh, Jurgens, Jurgens. <laughs> Anyway, so going back to Blackpink. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, what, what, what I, I thought we can we can talk about Blackpink in the next episode because I think we are pretty much Eddie. I honestly think you should just stop trying to attempt to make concepts for each. And you know what I mean? Whatever. I'm... But we have to talk about Blackpink and the Crazy Horse because that's the purpose of us um, talk about now. turning on the camera. Talk about now. Uh, because um. Okay, I was gonna talk about the ASO wheel. Ah, the wheel. So, there's oh, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a H H W Y L. This um brand carried that mm-hmm. as well, but it does not smell that similar. Really? So yeah. it's a hit or miss. Um, yeah, it's a hit and miss. But mm-hmm. this sound toll smells exactly the same. The other brands, I think, um, eighty to ninety percent similar, similar. But this uh this one is like is almost ninety nine. Is there a store for this, or is it online? Uh, it's only online. Okay. Mm. I think it's uh thirty to thirty bucks for three bottles. It's Korean brand? One plus one plus one. Korean store. It's a Korean store. Okay. It's uh, sold on neighbor smart stores. No, uh, if you're in Korea, you can shop online. Then maybe you can check it out. It's called Desis. Uh, so it's T H S I S. What is Atelier Beauty? Uh, that, I don't think that's the brand name. The pr- the brand name is called T H S I S. Why is it written here? I think it's just um. Je ne sais quoi something that they wrote yeah. on their um, brand to make it looks fancier, but the the real brand so then, name is uh, if, that, if that's the case, I, on our little thumbnails, I can write Vogue presents double D. Like well, yeah, they, you know how Korean brands they don't really speak French or English, they, oh, but they just put it on there to make it look fancier. Girl. That's that's what they do. I'm tired. I'm tired too. I'm tired of this fucking concept um, man, man then. anyway yeah, you know. let's check that out i kind of want to see what they have in their catalog yeah, I'll, I'll send you a link thanks there. and uh without any uh, it's not affiliated uh, you don't get any coupon code actually mm-hmm. check the description box and we got a special code wait we have not double d for for nothing not even one percent off <laughs> we wish we'll do soon but my favorite is those things where it's like you have to it's like a raffle you have to enter a raffle for a chance to buy something um, you don't even win the thing. You had, you, had a, you win a chance to buy it, and you never end up. No, of course you never end up. Have you ever won anything? I actually did. When? You know the Korean uh, giveaway thing. Mm. Um, I actually always win. Really? Yeah, because um, because my ex, um, because he works in a cosmetic company. Girl, so you had fucking connections. No, I don't have connection. He asked me to enter because he said there are surprisingly not a lot of people participating in it. <laughs> so it turns out you're the only one to answer. I'm win. not the only one, but I'm the <laughs> one in uh, only few people. He, said, he asked me, not actually a lot of people like sign up uh, for these events. bother to actually sign up even mm. though it's like a huge competition mm-hmm. you'll be surprised not a lot of people do this so, so, so you only have very few like competitors so for you, me you, i just feel like i know i'm not gonna wait so i never bother to sign up mm-hmm. see 
just like him a lot of people are thinking oh there must be a lot of people like joining and signing up because there's a lot of comments but people do leave a comments but people forgot to like maybe like sign in their google uh mm-hmm. format thing and mm-hmm. people like forgot or something so there's a huge chance that you might win what but make we- sure it's not scam <laughs> yeah that's true yeah what have you won before uh, i won like um cream just random shit to be honest not nothing big mm. but yeah the biggest price i think is like pad or cream hey but i use it up you know that's um, good i mean it's it's free cream so yeah free creams and free uh cotton pad and, and it's more pacific so uh yeah and now you're broken up with him and no more none of nothing that. nothing i have to um i have to buy my own cream my own pad girl you gotta stop they give you they be giving you shit so don't even well no, not anymore edward Ooh. And I wonder taste why. Taste that pink venom. Taste, taste that, that pink venom. Dollar bills. Dollar bills. bills. Um, um, you don't even know how to say that. That's me you, at the K-pop concert. Fake blink. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Me at an XG concert only saying the one line, not knowing anything else. Have you been to one of their like, concerts? I haven't. You haven't? No, you, you, your chance to have run out. You. They're not going to be going around fucking Yongsan trying to <laughs> have a concert. They're going to they're have a concert in Japan soon. And, uh, they are? Yeah. Blackpink? No, XG. Oh, XG. Oh, we're talking about Blackpink? Yeah. I haven't been to their concert. Have you? No. I haven't been to them. I haven't haven't been to anyone's concert. Really? Yes. I cannot imagine you at a concert. Yeah. Even you at the club, you're like... (laughs) I don't know. I'm just so, so awkward. I don't... I don't know how to get like get a ticket. True. If someone bought the ticket, like bother to actually go online and click, click, click and mm-hmm. buy the ticket for me. Oh, you know what? Do you know Rolling Loud? Rolling Loud. Mm-hmm. You know Rolling Loud? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's surprising. I've heard of it. Oh, because um, I got a ticket mm-hmm. uh, from like a uh, secondhand like um, website because my friends are going. No, because my friends were going. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, ah, shall I go? So my friend, I, I, my friend got the ticket for me. I, I paid my friend. Yep. So I got a ticket very easily. Yep. I didn't do the, the, the clicking thing. Mm-hmm. Um, the clicking thing? <laughs> Ticketing? Yeah, the Jesse were, the Jesse were coming and um, Jay Park were coming. Mm-hmm. Because you know, I'm not into um, rap yeah. At all. I went there because my friends are going. Oh, well, honey, we've heard you not being into rap. Yeah, I get, rap. Go she Um, <laughs> yeah, yo, 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 and then what? No, I went to the Get Rolling the Loud, paid all 120 bucks, and <sighs> I was in Pattaya. Mm. And Pattaya was, you know, Pattaya is really not my vibe. Yeah. I, I love you, Thai girls out there. I love Bangkok, but Thai is kind of dirty. Uh, um, just not my vibe. Not your and, vibe. Yeah, and I refuse. I. I, I arrived and then really not my I really just wanted to stay indoors because I felt like it's kind of, kind of dangerous as well the neighborhood I stayed in uh, I'm still stuck on your little freestyle just now yeah and I was like ah, <gasps> what, what should I go and I'm yo, and yo, like, yo. like Jay Park is, I love Jay Park but I, I don't mind not seeing him and then Jay, I love Jay Jesse too but I always see him see her on your channel so <laughs> So then you don't have to see your personality yeah, so, on there. So my point is like I got a ticket, I didn't go. I go. Yeah. So yeah. I will, I will go see what see rise. Yeah. I because you know they always talk in the conversation about mm-hmm. uh, the differences between in concert etiquette between Westerners and like Asians. Mm-hmm. In concerts in Asia are always sitting down with your light stick. You know, you get know, umunhe. Mm-hmm. Everyone has their fan chant, oh. but in America, everyone's crazy from beginning to end. Everyone's screaming, dancing, or whatever. For me, I can't handle that. But also, if I'm just at a Korean concert, I tend to—I don't know—I like to. So the fan cultures are much more organized in Korea. Much more you, organized. You, 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 you just simultaneously do this thing. Yeah, with the light stick, and I feel like I can enjoy the concert more. Um, but I always—I also do feel like I want to. A little bit more than like the other people around oh. me, so you'll hear me being like ah, 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 a little bit, a little bit, but not like I, you're never, you're not gonna catch me standing and like because girl, I want to watch the performance too. Oh, I feel like if you're standing, dancing, singing, it, like and those people that scream, I don't know. I can understand wanting to like recite the lyrics, but also people that are trying to scream over the singer that that are like, girl, whose concert am I paying for? Yours or theirs? Oh, because. Even though the 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 sound effect is very loud, but because you're in the crowd, you're in the crowd. They're next. Yeah. You screaming. Years, you're just, yeah, yeah. You cannot yeah. enjoy it. Too mm-hmm. much. Well, I, I I know actually what you're talking about. But I heard in Korea it's like a mix where like the con- um, depends on which fandom. But yeah. in Korea it's like a mix between Japan and um, the Western, where like oh, it's, in Japan it's real quiet. Yeah, I heard in Japan super oh, quiet. Yeah, where like the artists, some some artists they're talking about not really enjoying going to Japan. 
them mm. even though they like the pay but they just ah. felt like the, the vibe is not there because, mm. because they're not it's really super quiet the and they just don't, they felt like they're not interacting with mm. it even though they know the the crowd are enjoying the yeah. art but the the crowd there they're like this mm. yeah that's also why i think a lot of people i was like love performing in the states because mm-hmm. They're really like, interacting. They know that they, they're getting the receiving yeah, love. Yeah. Because, you know, when I think the, the artists that are performing on the stage, they really want to get that energy from the crowd. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But if you're on the crowd that they're like this, they're yeah. so restrained, then you feel like, are they really... Like, um, here to, yeah, do they he, care? Yeah, do they care? Yeah, much. Uh, right? So I think if I was the artist, I would love that, the, mm-hmm. the Western panin. Mm-hmm. But, but being part of the audience, for me... Yeah, you're not... I'm not into that. Mm-hmm. But I heard... Um, I have seen a lot of, um, like, shorts mm-hmm. uh, where the, when the artists are performing, there are people... Uh, in Korea, too, there are people from the crowd they're throwing stuff oh yeah that happened a few artists. months ago yeah people have been throwing stuff at the why, why would the people do that because they are fucking they want no to, social cues they want just attention I, or? I, I don't know. They, they've interviewed something they're all like oh I was just trying to be funny and like girl by taking someone's eye out I don't know they're trying to murder their artists like they love them so much they, they want them Ula, to these people are insane um I was gonna say something this girl forget. I keep do, do you know who who I am? You know, Edward they, 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 <laughs> thank you for remembering me. You know, the other day, because I was I was because um, I love swimming so much, uh, and then um, because I stay in my friend's house in mm-hmm. Shanghai, mm-hmm. and then my friend's house happens to have a, like a swimming um, sort of a gym next to her house, literally w- by walk. 30 seconds mm-hmm. and then I um I, I paid for a membership for a month because I stayed there for exactly a month mm-hmm. and then one day I came I finished my swimming I came out from the swimming gym I could not find her apartment I, I got lost I'm like where is her apartment is I, the area of, like very similar buildings oh uh, no I just I really? thought, I, yeah I, I called my friend I was like I could not find your apartment you had a brain fart? My friend, yes I had literally I, I had a brain fart really my friend was like are you okay? Ha! Someone hit their head on yes, the way I'm in, like, oh in my the God. diving. Uh, it really reminds me of those, you know, like um, the elders I could not find, and could not remember their name. And mm. I'm like, oh my God, what's, what, what's happening? I, I, um, is this the beginning? I forgot who I am. Could not find are? my way. Yes. Here you are. All I can remember is I'm a homosexual. Girl. <laughs> I like man. <laughs> I am a bottom. And in the end, the only thing you remember is dick. Yes, my identity. Very on brand My for sexual you. orientation. <laughs> That's what really defines me. <laughs> Wait, why are we th- what were we talking about? Uh, fuck, I want to talk about something. You want to talk about the concert, Edward? No, it, was, it had to do with the concert, but I forgot. It was about a specific artist. Sp- uh, XG on? No, no, no. Mo- Monster X? Monster X. Astro. I love this new trend of uh, Rise. all the <laughs> all these boy groups having one like Chang member, a one super hot. Te- recently. Seventeen. Oh, of course, Mingyu. I love Seventeen Mingyu. Mingyu is love. But we need to talk about. Do you know uh, On and Off? On and Off. O N F. Not only fans. Uh, on and On Off. Uh, the the dancing. They're famous for their dancing. Da- ah, oh. Why at? Do you know why at? Mulan. He's, I, I don't, don't think know. he's Gyopo, but he did live in Russia for a little bit. Uh-huh. Honey, let's talk about him. Oh. Sh- I need to show you a photo. I need to show you a photo. Because he's giving like, oh that, my that, god, that. like like husband vibes. That he's a member of uh, Anna. Oh! Mishu <gasps> Anya? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And his voice is fucking deep. <laughs> I heard a bottom's voice. In the back, that was probably me. <laughs> Why at uh, he can get he, it? He's yelling to his fans, says his harangye, like I love you. Mm. He, lo- he loves his fans. Mm. I can tell he's gonna love this pussy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was supposed to collaborate with him one time, mm-hmm. but um, their producers. What happened? The producers didn't want to want the collaboration to happen because it was a music collaboration. Mm-hmm. Like they, uh, we made like a remix of their song, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, we we're just gonna do some kind of like cover to it or something. Not cover, but like. Remix of the song plus I sang a part of it, but they didn't. The, the producers didn't want that, so they were like, "No." Mm. So sad. And then, then the hype boy thing happened. That was so much later. Oh. It then they then they went on um, Kingdom. They did pretty well from that. They got a lot of fans from that. And oh, then, they did. Yeah, and then hype boy. I think the hype boy thing really it really helps, honey. All us faggots were like, <laughs> I want to go to the Gundam now too. 
that's actually a really good po um, promoting videos for um, people to enlist it in the army. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's to, why they keep doing it now. Yeah, to give to give you the um, fantasy of the army, and then you cry, and then yeah, it kind of breaks up the because uh, like oh, you know, when they go to the army, oh, sad, sad, sad. Mm -hmm. But then we get that content because they usually get buff when they go to the army, mm -hmm. right? Because all they have they do have nothing to do except work out. Mm -hmm. They work out. They, they, they eat a they, lot. They eat a lot. They eat a lot because mm -hmm. they feed them real well. And um, oh, that I don't know. Oh, but really? they, they, the meals were provided well, well, they are much better than before. Mm. But still, there is not really, uh, oh. yeah, not still on giving. It's not delicious. I'm, I'm sure they're eating more than they are in their idol company. So yes, <laughs> of course, of more course. than those kimbap and samgak yeah. yes. kimbap and yeah, um, their fucking ikigayo sandwich. Because <laughs> our my taxes are going there. So. Ah, amen mm -hmm. to that, honey. Yes. God, all those fucking taxes. Mm -hmm. But um, you are paying Korean taxes. Honey, too, so. uh, let's not talk about that because. Uh -huh. Woo! The government is really out here yeah, talking about like me but at this point, give me a fucking permanent visa. You're gonna be taking that much money from me. Mm -hmm. But um, at this point, it's almost like well, we're sad that they're going to the army, but they get buff. Mm -hmm. They do their little mude, and it makes new fans excited for them to come out of the army. I mean, before because I and they're ready to stand. The the only thing I've watched from them, the contents is the the hype boy music view. Mm -hmm. I love how that's content for you. That's a chicken. Yeah, that, that, that's the only thing. This is the first time I saw their face. Mm -hmm. Now I, I got why they're so popular. She's about to go look them up real quick right after no, this. No, I I because the music is actually pretty good. Because mm -hmm. uh, if you like Idare on your music, mm -hmm. uh, same producers. So oh, I think kind of very nice. But music. I, I avoid myself getting into um too deep into Girl, I, I really I, avoid I know that feel yeah I know that feel I, I think it's, it's toxic for me it's, uh, that yeah that's what I talked about recently on my get ready with me with that's how I feel about dramas mm -hmm. I, I end up falling into the drama and I'm like I'm gonna fucking meet a man that's like rich and hot I, I, look no, where we are now bitch you know, I, I think those uh, I know I'm gonna get in too deep into those um, mm -hmm. idol like mm -hmm. oh, I just want, want Maja yeah I just want something that's I want to, like, it's something you can do when you have so much time on your hands mm -hmm. i want to become a nun like i, I want to cut those i thought you're already off. a nun yeah i am a nun I, I just want to be closer to the holy power and um, the next boy you sleep with he spreads your cheeks open and there's just a cross at your at your hole <laughs> just a wooden cross that you yeah that you probably well, look, maybe you not to that extreme degree you know <laughs> um i come out of there hi how are you and uh, he he has to read mm -hmm. he has to he has to read the Bible in Latin before we are engaging in uh, sexual intercourse. He opens the hole. I, I pop up. I have to give him a riddle. He has to solve the riddle. And he has to like um, <laughs> spread his blood and out to like what? <laughs> it's a demon ritual, yeah, just to get into your pussy. What the fuck? <laughs> That's the only way I can make sure he's loyal to me. Uh, that that sounds real complicated. Just to be with you, and I don't even know if the pussy's worth it. <laughs> Mm. Of course, it's worth it. It's me, you know. Anyway, but I, I, at the end, I want to um, give a really quick review on <laughs> Chinese boys because oh. uh, I've been in Shanghai for a good month and um, I have not had any time to meet any Chinese boys because I'm always really, really busy. I was gonna ask and you, I, what's the thing? What's I, the... I, I'm quite reluctant to meet any Chinese boys because I felt like maybe it's just my really because uh, my experience are very limited as well because i feel like they are very different from obviously they're very different from korean boys in terms of behavior because the, the majority uh, of the chinese boys profile i've seen uh. i feel like they all have fetishes this is just a normal huh. normal um dating apps have we talked about this before yes oh i because but when i take up because before i did not like um Take a careful look of At their the, the app, but now because I what have app? A time, it's called Blue D or something. Blue. D. Is that also in Korea? Uh, but they have a, a domestic version of it. Not the the one in Korea you download is an international version. Uh, they have a domestic version of it just for Chinese people to oh, use. I see. And then I have that. And I look at into it. I have like everyone in there is a weirdos. So I I never reply. I feel like people on there are crazy people. Are you talking about a majority of the profiles or the, only the ones that you think are hot? Uh, maybe the one. I feel See, like. oh my god! But but I feel if, like if all they the all they either there's they send me. I feel like I become the 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 girls uh, on the internet and mm. talks about people's like um, guys oh, the guys really are fucking... sending me dick pics. Mm, I hate that. Like really? I before I was like I'm just dick pics, just get over it. But now I feel like I feel that kind of way. I just ugh, I feel so disgusted. 
Really? And then I feel like um, they all talk about um, their fetishes on their pro- they on the it. profile. Yeah, they're discussing that. So they could have just in it for Bonga for one night. But still, I, I don't, I don't. It's disgusting. Well, if they're only for one night, then I think for them it's better for them other people to know exactly what they want. So if you're gonna have fuck with me, then you know what you're getting into. I guess mm. more very straightforward. But for you, you're all about like oh, being a secretive <sighs> little girl. Oi. Oh, but not everyone is. Mm. Of course, not uh, everyone like that. I haven't met. But take about the Kuron Tarmana. Yeah, so oh, much more. You fucking yeah, scared my dog me. Is like, not like that. But I've just felt like uh, the percentage. Mm-hmm. I felt like in Korea, maybe I have not met anyone who's like that. Mm-hmm. I think I've never met any who have like specific fetishes. Nine years I've lived in Korea. I've mm-hmm. never met any. But in China, um, though I have not met met any, but in mm-hmm. but just based on the dating app, I think everyone. I think nine out of ten. They all have fetish. Like wow. that's why what this is what surprised me. So I felt reluctant to meet anyone. And that's your review, Chinese boys. I, I, maybe just <laughs> mine. I, I've met two people out of all every everyone because I felt like those are um, normal people. Yeah. Uh, and my experience are uh, positive so far. I have never slept with them. I just met them because yeah. um, though two of them are actually they work in fashion. Mm-hmm. And because we all you and your fashion. Yeah, they all the work in fashion. So we had we have two. Uh, we went on two dates, mm-hmm. but we all know that we uh, we don't live in the same uh, city because I live in Seoul and they live in Shanghai. Mm-hmm. So we did not do anything. Um, and they're quite normal. But um, I just feel like maybe because I live in Korea for too long and because I'm ethnic Korean. Mm-hmm. So I feel like the culture background, I do feel there's a huge difference. So I don't know. And that's your review of China. <laughs> Thank you so but, much but for watching. Chinese boys are very tall. No, I would, I would imagine, they're really, really tall. The tall ones are really, really tall. I used to be like, what the what, what does height have to do with anything? But when you meet they're a tall really boy, they're really tall. They're so tall. When you meet like, a tall boy, you can't find a lot of uh, Y ninety something. <laughs> yeah, they're they're so tall. Girl, I want a Sha Hong Shu boy. Yeah, All the, the boys the, on there. The, the, the Y met, um, he said, "Oh, it's really hard for me to take the account e- economy um, because he had a lot of business trips." He mm-hmm. said, "It's really hard for me to take the economy class on the airplane because look at me, I can't. The the space is not." Um, oh you God. know, for me, because he's like 192 or something. It's and he hot. said, every single time I go on an airplane, um, I ask the flight attendants to give me the, the seat next to the ex- the oh, no, emergency there, exit. There is a, a, a class called upper economy class. So you just add a little bit mon- little more, more money, money and, and it's in the very front row of economy mm-hmm. class. Yeah, yeah. He said that seat is always empty because nobody uh, pay extra more. Mm-hmm. And then he asked the flight attendants, because he's kind of cute looking and he's a 190. He said, can I please sit, change my seat to there? And the flight attendants always say yes. He said that. Love so that. every single time he had the business. Love so that. he never paid extra. He always asked and he always got changed seat to there. Tall privilege. Yeah, tall privilege. Tall hands privilege. Yes. But, but I grew up, I was that flight attendant. <gasps> yes. Would you like any other services? <laughs> so oh. yeah, that's basically what happened. <laughs> All right, well. Well, yeah. The goal, if anybody out there that is watching is Chinese um, and you have a cute Chinese friend that will date a little Filipino American boy, let me know. Well, yeah, you should, if you go to Shanghai, I think um, just experience yourself. And um, but I w- can then, let's 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 ask the question: A boy like me, if I went to Shanghai, would I be popular? I think you you will. To be honest, with weird adjectives. I think uh, to be honest, I think, <laughs> no, no, not weird adjectives. I think um, Korean people they're more closed minded so? yes i think chinese people are more open-minded to people if they're into their fetishes not <laughs> a lot like that i think chinese people are more open-minded to dating so? uh, people out of outside of their culture mm. that i'm pretty sure okay. i think korean people are less i met a chinese boy i don't know if i told the story to you already no. but um during chuseok oh you, you, the did. Week of chuseok, you yeah, did you did i met uh with this group of Chinese guys, mm-hmm. apparently one of them is really popular amongst the gays because mm-hmm. he got that pu- that pussy's boom boom booming. Mm-hmm. He began the dick, but he was telling me one time that he met this half Chinese, half uh, a Caucasian person, and they said he says that Chinese people have this stereotype of uh, anybody that's like half white or like white or whatever that Caucasian guys have big dicks. So he was getting real excited, but then he went to go sleep with him, and he had like a small dick apparently, <laughs> and he was so put off he was so upset he said i was like girl like <laughs> penis is not everything it, guys it's not everything but it's something <laughs> for me it's just, as long as, as this day of age i'm just as long as the person has a functional genital i'm i'm fine 
That's I true. Am. That's yeah. true. But if it's like this small, like from Kushana. Really? No one has opinions like this small. Well, obviously, but I mean, there's the ones where it's kind of like, it's I, giving, I know it's what giving pinky. Mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, well, I, if if I happen to have a husband that has a penis, uh, uh, like a Mac lipstick, I'll just I'll <laughs> I'll make sure I I um <laughs> I'll be a good wife, um, just like maybe Kenny's wife. Like I will not show my true color in front of him, and I'll cry every single night under the moonlight <laughs> on then, the on the Double D podcast. <laughs> yeah. No, for me, I, no. If a small dick is not really. I think I'm just traumatized by your accent. The small, no, not him. The the dude that uh that I told you about in one of the episodes. The uh. One the, the popular Korean boy, uh-huh. but then he ended up coming after like two seconds. <laughs> the small dick is whatever, okay, whatever. But coming after, th- you're gonna have a small dick, it's, and you're gonna come after three seconds. They always come in one set. Girl, I'm over it anyway. Um, yeah, we'll be back to talk about Blackpink in the well, next episode. Yeah, we'll we'll talk in details about Blackpink. Stay tuned. Because Bla- oh. Oh, Blackpink Lord. in your area. Dollar bill. <laughs> Dollar bills ring on me. I like how it feels. Is that the words? I think so. <laughs> what?